A lot of you have asked me to comment what I'm feeling about what's happening collectively on the planet right now. And I did address it a little bit in my previous audio. You guys know that something that Rachel and I have been talking about in our Gen Magic class is anomaly technology, triggering collective fault lines, and the concept that if we understood the collective consciousness algorithm, we could trigger anomaly on purpose. The most powerful thing about triggers is that they give us the opportunity to see what our embedded beliefs are and therefore give us an opportunity to shift them by choosing something different so we can have a different experience so that we can create a new belief and therefore step into a new reality. What's powerful about this time right now is all the collective algorithms are on pause. And so this is a ripe time to choose where you want to line up when we come out of all of this. I wanted to share with you a conversation that Rachel and I had back in November on November 29th. This is a private conversation we had when we got together to work on the Gen Magic class. We always record our conversation for our private notes, and this is not something we were intending to share. But in light of everything that's going on, I wanted to share this conversation with you because I believe that this conversation will trigger a lot of you awake into a new level of understanding your gifts and why you're here right now on the planet, specifically as an empath. Keep in mind, this is not a professionally recorded conversation. We did the best we could to get the background noise out and it's definitely, you can hear it, but just know it's not professionally recorded. Also at the very end, we kind of detour a little bit into some personal stuff with me, which we were going to take out, but I felt like because so many of you are working on a similar fault line that I've worked on and so many of you on my platform resonate with me, I wanted to keep it in because ultimately I feel like it's connected to everything Rachel pulled through in this audio. The context of this conversation is all built around what we have brought through for the Gen Magic class, which has honestly been the most powerful class I've ever Ever created and we have both experienced such profound shifts in our personal life and people who took the beta class have shared with us the profound shifts that have happened in their lives through applying this technology and understanding their empathic abilities in the arc of the story of the genie, the genie who is enslaved and gets free. So if you want to dive deeper into this technology that we're talking about and understanding your empathic gifts from the perspective we share in this audio, you can get the beta test version of this class. The link is in the description box. You'll also get any updates we do to this class as we continue to channel and pull information through for it. This particular conversation has probably been one of the most profound conversations I've ever been a part of. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I would love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. First of all, the lock matrix, its entire goal, and this is why it's a lie and it's a mimic program, it's in, which is different than an illusionary grid, mm -hmm. they want us to know. A mimic program is actually housed within, a, within an illusionary grid. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay. Does yeah. that make sense? Mm -hmm. So that, that you feel like you're making progress in the illusionary grid because you're just mimicking the cycle of what's already been done in creativity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it looks like movement, but it isn't at all. Yeah, it's like a hamster wheel. It is like a hamster wheel. Yeah. So the mimic program is within the illusionary grid, which is within a different illusionary grid of the lack matrix. Got it. And its primary goal is extinction. Wow, that makes that makes a lot of freaking sense. Is this recording? Yes. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Because heaven on earth only goal is evolution. And that's why even even when we're in lack matrix at the bottom of all of our decisions is extinction. That makes so much sense. Why? It's just because of the, the polar, like what would, what does extinction well, actually polarization mean? polarization for yes, so that it can hold a duality space, mm -hmm. right? Because we do love to learn in duality. It's yeah. so delicious. Yeah. We just make it right or wrong. Right. And that goes into the lack matrix. Got it. The second, we actually don't mind du duality or polarization. Like it's the most fun, fun place to play. It really because is. Because it's so dynamic and 
movement and possibility and quantum and we're quantum beings so we want quantum level learning yeah and so it was never meant to be like extinctionary it right. was always meant to be generative right evolutionary but um when our bodies like fell when our bodies when the programming of our dna what i don't know is what happened yeah but i know that in the triggering of when our DNA was incomplete, when our DNA could no longer be restored, the restoration process broke down. Because our DNA has gone through many different evolutionary cycles. Right. But something happened where it couldn't, <clears throat> and maybe we collectively believed more in extinction than in that, evolution. I think that's what it is. It's like we injected something. a virus. It's like we injected yes, a mimic collective. program. Yes. So intense. It's, yes. it's a powerful, it's this whole reality we're in. It's so powerful. It is so freaking powerful. And so that the, the algorithm of, of unconsciousness is produced by the DNA that needs the most healing. Ooh, say that again. The algorithm of unconsciousness is produced by, the signal of it is produced by the, the unhealed or broken or broke down or damaged DNA. Right. The DNA, D, the DNA that needs the most healing. Yeah. And actually what, this is what's happening is the DNA itself is inherently prime and inherently fucking amazing. It's what, it's the only thing that holds this place together. Mm -hmm. The signal it's actually sending out is like information of how to evolve, how to fix it. Yeah. It's giving us like, you know, in a car when it breaks down, they can plug it into a computer. It's throwing, they call it throwing codes. Uh -huh. Do you know that in a uh -huh. car? Interesting. So when it starts breaking down, they're like, okay, it's throwing this code. So let's look and see what's happening. Right. The DNA in an attempt <clears throat> to help us course correct into, a, into evolution is throwing out codes like trying to signal us change, si trying to signal us an alchemical process that it needs to repair itself. Interesting. But what we do is we put it through too many filters of lack, or these are the filters, domination, war, conflict, lack, fear, all of those yep. things. Yep. We put it through that filter, and then we see that as something inherently broken in ourselves and unfixable, where, where the code of DNA is saying this is what to do to repair me and we'll shift. And once we can repair enough of that, those low level DNA codes, mm -hmm. then we, and well, then we move up and out yeah. in the strand. Right. So that, so then we start living a different frequency, which is different opportunity, different quantum level. The faster we can do the restorative process on our DNA, the faster we get to prime. Right. Which is the quantum level of creation, which then we can learn and easily, skillfully work with all different types of energetic threads as they're pulling through. Yeah. All different types of algorithms. Algorithms aren't bad as long as you control them. Yep. There are certain things we want to put on autopilot. Yes, exactly. But rarely. Yeah. Because prime energy wants the intense aliveness and intense, like innovation newness it doesn't want three days in a row of the same life it doesn't D unless so, there's some sort of anomaly anomalic is that a word anomalic anomaly i get what you're saying anomaly function that's in place where every every day it can have a new experience so that no neural networks in the brain get too deeply embedded it not only affects the, the velocity and speed at which you can move, but it, it fractally changes the brain. So what is the program that, what is the program that is the deepest embedded in an automatic program? I mean, you know, in an algorithm automatic algorithm. Which what do you mean? Like in the unconscious algorithm? Yeah, like Extinction. collectively. Extinction. So that's the program that's embedded the deepest, that's so deep that we don't even realize that that's what's motivating and driving our entire algorithm. Extinction. Fuck. That's why when we, that's why when we observe art, which art is the place to observe the collective consciousness. So when we're observing art, which movies <clears throat> have, have unfortunately become 
our expressive art and the collective consciousness. Right. That's why we've seen for years how this art form is always dystopian. Mm -hmm. And dystopian is dystopian. Once we are dystopic in our matrix, we actually want extinction to, to free ourselves. Yeah, it frees you. It's like, I feel like... I yeah. can feel that drive within me towards extinction sometimes. Like, like I want sometimes. this program done. Like, end it. Like, fly me into a fucking mountain. I want it over with. Exactly. <laughs> and we collectively feel that. Yeah. yeah. And our God selves, even though we try to push them out, we can't. We are God. We can't push that out. Yeah. They sometimes know that the fastest way to, for, for, that, for that rebound or slingshot effect that they showed us is extinction. Right, right. And we are watching as the earth is extinguishing itself. Yeah. Not the earth. Not the earth, yeah. The people are extinguishing themselves. It's not unworthy. The unworthy is in our bedrock. It's extinction. So I'm trying to feel the other side, like the propulsion of what would put you in the other direction to desire something. Because so the extinction, extinction program means we are not desiring anything other than an ending. We like we think want we are. But it's not yeah, but it's but we're like you said, it's a program towards self destruction, towards yes. extinction. Extinction. So it's in other words, it's like it is I, I get the death cult thing. Yes. I fucking get it. keep talking about the death cult. The I think cabal. Death the Satan like the satanic death cult. It was what Nick was talking about. Yes. Yes. They do all these rituals and everything. Like the whole algorithm is for death. But yes. that makes sense to Extinction. me. Extinction. So the people that are embedded in it the most, that have the most power in the grid, literally make decisions that will bring about extinction. Let's yeah. set the Amazon on fire to raise more cows. Extinction. Yep. We chose extinction in that moment. Yep. Let's put rulers in place that cut off communion from yeah. the rest of the world. Extinction program. Yep. So the main holders of the fucking grid are wired, hardwired, for, for extinction. Damn. And that makes sense then why we, the other download we had about women, last time that's what we talked Absolutely. about. Absolutely. You control women, that's that's the leverage point. If because you're, they are extinction. the heroes. Yeah. Well, Mother, if you want extinction. Earth is female. Yeah. She's the most life-giving, life-breathing, and we're trying, our extinction programmings are killing, it's killing her off, even though she's so fucking resilient. She's a and badass the, when she's in immortal. In the snap of a finger, she could wipe all of us out. Yeah, she might. Exactly. We might piss her off enough that we can do that in total reset. Yeah. yeah. She's done it before. Yeah, she has. But, but to understand like that bedrock belief is extinction. That's why the healing world has tried so to go to like unworthy, unworthy, unworthy. But it's the mimic program in the extinction program. Right. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. This is why anomaly is key. This is why anomaly is the way out. Yeah, it's the way out. They knew that when they created the matrix. Well, they... you also, I feel like that there is there is an absolute destination. Like we are, there is a path on extinction that will be go that will go extinct, but because of quantum physics because of multiple realities all we're doing is the abundance matrix is literally just shifting into a parallel reality yes where you don't choose extinction yep. you choose life and creation absolutely and the old, that reality literally exists through urge because it of literally urge. does yes and if urge that's if urge is, if prime is driving it and urge is following that it's it is pure anomaly the, that parallel reality that parallel world is an anomaly in and of yes. itself Yes. That's heaven on earth. It's heaven on Duh. earth. And, and it always has existed. It's all from the beginning. From the beginning. And it we keeps chose... getting richer and more dynamic and beautiful depending on how dark this dimension gets. Because yes. it's the rockets of desires go off. Exactly. That create heaven even more, heaven on earth. Like there's a reason it's on earth. Yes, on earth. Yeah. There, it is nowhere else. It yeah. exists nowhere else. Exactly. And that like... Um, oh, what did I just see? Hold on, I'll, I'll pull it back. Give me one second. Say what you were saying. Do you, keep talking, it will come. 
heaven on earth. That's the parallel reality. It's the anomaly. Yes. Parallel oh, world. Oh, yes. Thank you. So the, so the key in the restoration of the DNA is DNA is literally because it controls the it controls the genes that are expressed and the genes are encoded or, or embedded for either heaven on earth or extinction depending on the thoughts, feelings, attitudes that we that we agree upon. Mm-hmm. And so as DNA is sending out like I'm sick, fix me codes, like throwing codes, like do this to re- repair and restore so that I can turn on ancient genes that's why prime and primal matter is dna is prime material and once you it's throwing these codes because it is urging us to get back to prime to for restoration and what happens is once we once we heal different strands of dna and different like even within the strands little like discrepancies that our coherence to the, that evolutionary form of DNA becomes stronger and stronger and it literally it's like epigenetics it turns on new genes yeah. in the body that are ancient alchemical they are so prime that it literally starts to change the physical body the metaphysical body the astral body the causal body it starts to change even the structure of our cells. The cells were never meant to be, take the shape that they've taken. Even our organs have been deformed over the years to adjust to the declining extinctionary body. And so the DNA, as the DNA is restored, it not only, we, we've seen this much of the DNA, it expands, it changes. There's the kundalini energy that can come through like right now we're trying to suck it through a straw when it wants to come through like a, a, like the bandwidth, right? Right. So as the bandwidth expands, it can literally trigger ancient, ancient DNA, God DNA, God sequencing. And then the gene and the genome and the cells and the structure and the organs and the bones everything begins to be restored to the level of evolution instead of extinction. Does that make sense? Hell yeah. It's the best sense I've ever had explained to me about our existence. I've known this. This is something you just gave words to what I feel like I know, but I have never had a context for. Wow. You should have felt that in my body. That's why alchemy, like DNA, is the ancient, is the, is the alchemical process. Like, and it's spiral. It's all spiral. It's, it's the spiral pattern continues. There's no extinction in it. There's n- and it could never. It That's could like never. the biggest lie of all that we could extinguish ourselves when we are immortal remember how we talked about how important it is to interact and speak and even create with that concept of immortality well just our collective consciousness of extinction that's the lie is we think we can extinguish ourselves yeah and there's a part of us that feels so hopeless we want extinction Mm -hmm. because the deeper most ancient part of ourselves know that there is truly no extinction but boy an epic reset sure might be nice yeah Yep. That's why when the earth has gone, we're, we're so old. This earth is so ancient. Yeah. We don't, and we've been on other earths and experienced the same thing where we literally, when they talk about polar shifts and everybody dies, that's a thing. Yeah. That's happened. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And we might be running full blast towards one, not for several hundred, maybe several thousand years. Yeah. But I can see how, it, how the earth and its wisdom can tip so far it's like we've tipped too far we're extinction program activated Mm -hmm. in the attempts to rebound back to the beginning of life so the opposite of the extinction program is evolution evolution and even in our science evolution is actually taught 
in the con- in in the constructs of extinction. Yes. It's like hijacked. What we have what to bring when you bring heaven on earth is when you um hold on. I heard hijacked and I wanted to go there but they were pulling me through. Keep talking. Sometimes oh that was big. Give me one second. Nope, you gotta keep talking. <laughs> About what I was saying? Yeah, sorry. No. Thanks for letting me be this weird. No, I love it. Keep going, just whenever it comes back, pop okay. in. All I was saying is that I, the scientific mind that has been the god yes, yes, forever. Yes, 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 okay, thank you. Yeah. So, so what they want us to understand is that we've been trying to reprogram DNA, but still in the, in the extinction program. Mm-hmm. So you have to move that DNA expand that DNA in a quantum level Mm -hmm. because the pull it's like leaving earth it's like when a rocket leaves earth that's why fault lines and anomaly are so important because once you get that cellular structure out of the intense gravitational pull of the extinction grid then you you can raise up enough that but your DNA, it's so, the pressure in there, fault line, think of what I just went through. Mm-hmm. Think of what Jenny just went through. The pressure is so strong that it gives your trajectory out of the extinction program long enough, the anomaly gives it long enough that you can start consciously programming and the key is to add quantum physics to it. Yes. So that the velocity continues so that you can literally propel to the other grid. Yeah. Well, you can't have you can't have a evolutionary understanding of creation unless you have quantum physics. Quantum oh. physics is key. You know what they just said? Mm-hmm. Where's the words? Explore quantum restoration. Ooh. So, what happens when we're in the in the extinction program that we because our code, because people respond to our code, they're just mimicking back to us. The mimic. Yeah. It's they're a mimic. mimicking back to us our own extinction program. Mm-hmm. So we keep choosing it. Yep. So the restoration process doesn't, it doesn't need to bypass that. It needs to completely fix it. Mm-hmm. Then it, the expression of new genes can be turned on. It's, a, it's an alchemical process of epigenetics, what it is. An anomaly sparks it. Anomaly. And the, and the anomaly sparks it. But leveraging anomaly is where you go to the fault line. And you leverage anomaly by leveraging triggers. That's why you have to know your trigger. You have to know your fault line. And you have to know your trigger spots on your fault line. This is where we need Maddie feverishly taking notes. Yeah. I mean, we have recording. Yeah. But what did you say? Say that again. You talked about leveraging anomaly, and I said we, in order to leverage anomaly, we have to leverage our triggers. Yes. Because that's where all the power is stored. And that's, when we're triggered, if we're triggered in just the right way and it's, and it's towards lack, we will, go, we will trigger the extinction, extinction program, which is war. It's war. It's war. Well, yeah, the fastest way to extinction is, is war. war. Yeah. So the, the anomaly is the opposite of war, which is restoration, which is the entire thing I've been talking about. Which is all Jesus years. talked about. Yeah, exactly. And he literally was the anomaly. Oh, yeah, he was. Yeah. Everything he did was opposite the extinction program would have him do. Right to the very last minute. And what's interesting, and I don't know how accurate all these texts are, are right? Yeah. But he didn't ever respond right away. It's almost like they would, well, what they're showing me is this like group of people just shouting at him. And he would stand. And he, it was almost like he was arranging his, the genes, his cells, the codes. Like, like he knew how to take, he was the ultimate empath. In that, he let, them feel how it felt. Does that make sense? Yeah. 
So what they're showing me is this. He's standing in a crowd, and, and 360, their people are just screaming at him. Like, they're so mad, they're spitting. And he's standing there, and they don't dare get too close to him. There's about, which is interesting. Which is about, there's about a six-foot radius around him, and he's so calm. And what he's doing is reflecting back to them their worst fears. Reflecting back to them their worst collective program so that they can feel the extinction program so deeply in their bodies. And what they're missing is, what everyone's missing is that, that, that what he's reflecting back to them is given to them to create anomaly. But, but if you're not ready for anomaly, what happens is when an empath in a loving way mirrors your own pain back to you, instead of an empath taking on their pain, mm -hmm. it mirrors back to them what they're actually making other people feel or how other people feel or collective consciousness feels. They're letting them feel that. Depending on the programming of that person, they will either double down on extinction or will wake up to anomaly. And, and Jesus came at a time where that there was actually a really huge split that happened. And because of the powerful nature of anomaly, it's, it's like a one to 100 ratio. So like one person awake carries more coherence and frequency ability than a hundred people that are asleep. So that's why his mess, his true message that was, was received and integrated by a small group of people created, could, could have the potentiality to create restoration. Yeah. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. A hundred percent. So the true, this is what was lost. This is what was lost. So the true, the true calling of the empath is not to absorb the pain into their bodies. Mm -hmm. It's to, to reflect, reflect it's to it. give it back give it to back. them, expanded, mm -hmm. so they can feel what they're doing, so it can spark anomaly. Yeah. Empaths are given that ability to wake people the fuck up. Yep. But because the empath has been in the extinction program, it takes it, we take it into our bodies because we think we have to die with it. If we die with it, we remove it off the face of the earth. And yeah. Jesus even, he, he went, he even showed he even that. Took on that program, yeah, yeah. So that was never the way it was supposed to be. So the, the, the awakening of the empath is for the empath to choose evolution. Yeah. The second they choose evolution, Jenny, mm -hmm. the second she chose evolution instead of, if I keep taking on this pain, I can transmute it for the whole world, and Steve will suddenly become in the heaven on earth. Yep. Doesn't nope. work that way. Didn't work at all. You can't take anyone with you into heaven on earth. They're either resonant or not. Yeah. You can't resonate enough to take everyone with you. You can be the example of it. You can hold an intense grid that people want to get sucked into that orbit, but they have to resonate with it to go. Mm -hmm. So the true nature of an empath is to never let it come in their body, but to use their body as this amazing, beautiful, like, system that takes in all that pain, shit, trauma, feeling it all, delete the mimic program and and in a powerful way send that intense energy back to the person so they themselves can't help but feel it. Yep, exactly. It wakes out out of that unconscious algorithm, sparks anomaly, gives them the only chance to get to pray. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? That's exactly what you're saying. And they do it through these strongly coded modules. Can I look at this? Hell yeah. Right? This is it. This is exactly what I've been feeling. And I told you how when I watched that video where I talked about shadow contracts, I had just been going through it. I don't know why I whispered that. But you, I know, you know I who. I that. <laughs> and I, sh I will do that with names too. Okay. Um, I, 
I knew I had to completely reflect it back. And I've had to do that yes. a few times over and over. And, and the thing that kept catching me up was, am I being like, my old program kept coming up where I wanted to call and apologize or explain yes, myself and I did that or, with... or take it on. Yeah. Yes. Or whatever. Yes. And I kept hearing, no, no, reflect it and send it and feel intensely and send it back with love, with love, but send it back, send it back, yes. fucking send it back. Yes. It was that moment that they showed us of um, mother. God. After the shooting. Yes, exactly. I was thinking that same thing. Because in, in the old empathic program, you just absorb that pain and you die with it. Yeah. In the new in, in the grid, actually, at, you actually evolve that gift into just it's not, you're not even an empath anymore. You are like, you embody restoration. Mm -hmm. Wait, I heard more on that to come. Don't go, I heard, don't go down there for a second. So in that moment of the shooting, when they showed me like true mother was the most gifted empath on, she is the empath, like right, mm -hmm. that holds this grid together she did not take she okay she did let it pass through her but in the passing through that alchemical change happened in in her to be able to give him back something so like quantumly awakening that it completely dissolved that unconscious programming all at once yeah but she the but she did not take it on. Our empaths are dying yeah. because they believe they have to hold all the anger and pain and fear yep. and injustice. Yep. Oh, empaths, injustice is a trigger. It is, you're right. And empaths usually don't want to go to war, and so they're afraid to let their instincts kick on when it comes to this kind of because stuff because they're wired for peace yeah and they think that the path of an empath has to be peaceful mm -hmm. and they wrote out the fucking parts of jesus where he lost his brains yeah there's a few of them in there when he he makes a premeditated whip and goes and draws people out of the temple like there's a few of them in there there's a few of but them probably in there. don't there's even scratch few. the surface Oh, I heard. Remember, have you listened to Masters of the Far East? No, I've Joni's told me about that. Well, oh, I told Joni about oh, it. Oh, really? Yeah, because yes. she went on and on to Chris about it, and then Chris started listening. Chris to him. should. Yeah, he did. It would bring him back into masculine balance. Oh, I need to tell him to do it again. It was a long time ago he started listening to him, it's, and he was really turned on by them as well. It's phenomenal. You yeah. should listen to it. I You'll will. die. It's the ancient energy we're working with, but Jesus traveled with them. Yeah. After his crucifixion, came yeah. back. And there was this huge army of bandits that were coming, that had like this, like this militia that had formed that would just go into these small villages and raid and take rape all the women. Cause, cause why would you just want to steal, like, things that would help you buy other things? Let's also rape women, so that we can take their eros from their village, yeah. not just their valuables. Yeah. Okay. So like you want to demoralize if you want to extinguish life you would rape the women so rapists are like heavy heavy broken dna mm -hmm. that are so quickly wanting extinction but what happened was is jesus walked to the top of this hill and these bandits were they paint the most amazing picture in this, and I might get it wrong, by the way. It's been probably 10 years since I listened to it, but I'm going to listen to it again because okay. it will be a I'm whole different level. Too. Yeah. Oh! As they're, these bandits, they're coming up the hill, and they're just like these marauders. They've got out their, like their swords, and they're, they're masked so that people, like they look terrifying. And everyone in the village is afraid, and the women are afraid, and Jesus, like... He sees him coming, and all he does is he just stands 
and he reflects back to them the same frequency that they're pushing out, wow. which is intense fear, yeah. intense war, yep. intense death, intense like violence. He doesn't take any of it on. He merely Flex reflects back. back to them. And, what, and they feel all of that directed back, back at, them. at them. Yeah. And they get so afraid, they like get confused, they just get discombobulated, and they like take off. Because what comes back in reflection of them is this army of violent war, like war yeah. bringers that yeah. are coming at them. Because that's what they're bringing. Yeah. So, so Christ just reflected back to them what they're bringing. And it was so terrifying for them. They like turned on each other. They ran away. They like fled. So as an empath, that's, that's the key. That's the key. To not, we've been taking it into our bodies. <laughs> yeah. In this, because of the worthy, which is worthy is, extin- is extinction. Yep. Like, oh, I have to like get on my knees and take all this pain and do this program. Like, so that nobody has to feel, and it's like beautifully driven, but in a fucked up way. Yeah, yeah. And so, so we, so as we, the second we choose to feel it in our embodiment, or to keep it in our embodiment, we can feel it and let it pass through alchemicalized. But we haven't learned how to do that because our DNA is fractured. Yeah. So our DNA, until that DNA is is whole, we shouldn't bring it through our bodies. Yeah. We should only bring it into the causal body, in to then bounce it back out. Right. So we can feel what to reflect back. Exactly. Because I, I, for me, I have to feel it. I have to know. Yes. I have to feel it to know what I am reflecting back. Yes. But I see what you're saying, just bringing it into the causal body, not into your physical body. So that the trauma doesn't hold. It doesn't right. stay. And the belief of the empath is that we are called to hold the pain of the earth. Yeah. That is what keeps the extinction program lit up. Yeah. Alive, and it starts with the empaths. It does because they were never They're meant holders. to They're hold such it. Huge points. They're so powerful. Can you imagine if all the empaths woke up, this world would be like it would change yes. over freaking life. Every Overnight. empath started doing that because they would just reflect back to that person their biggest fears and how they're making everyone else feel. Mm-hmm. It would show them their extinction program. Exactly. But the empath in that victim aggressive paradigm feels like they have to be meek. Mm-hmm. They have to be lowly mm-hmm. and not in the strong way, but in the weak way. Yeah, exactly. So they take on all this and then they're like, I can't function. I can't. And they're right. Yep. So the mechanism is to have to reflect it back so the person can see their unconscious program and the person can see it and they're like, holy fuck, that's what I'm doing. I'm choosing extinction. And then they shift exactly. because they see it, own it, alchemicalize it. Exactly. Yep. So the so the so the empath, it's to that's why when you free the genie, it's like all connected. Yeah. Yep. Surrender is an arc, is what they said. This is for you. Surrender is an arc, like an arc of a story. And that makes sense because if it arcs the story, that's the anomaly. That's, surrender is the only way out of a mimic program. You have to surrender to prime energy. Because then it makes you into something else. You don't even know what it is. They have a whole lesson for us on arc. Story arc, perceptive, perception arc, like... This is down the road, they're saying. Yeah. But they're planting it in us. They're downloading We talked about it a lot in the program with Nick, too. Did in the, we? In the simulation, yeah. So on 11-11, that's what they were showing us. When you, the dog started barking, and I started seeing this arc thing happening. This is the difference between extinction and evolution. Extinction absorbs the arc and weakens it. Ah, uh, Okay. Um, that makes sense. Evolution, because it's of the same, because it is life bringing, it wants life. It's always generative, propulsive. If it hits here and it's evolution, instead of dying and fizzling, 
it springboards a bigger arch. That's why we always have some weird missing link where we don't understand. As all <laughs> this energy in this dynamic is collected, it springboards mm -hmm. a bigger arc mm -hmm. exponentially. They say that you hold codes to the arc um, you hold programming to the ARC technology. And it has to do with your understanding of story. Does that make sense? It does. Yes. ARC technology. ARC technology. The internet, even now as it exists, they haven't figured out how to use. They know it exists. They don't know how to use it. Something's happening in my body as you're talking. I know this is true, but I don't know it as Amanda yet. You know what I mean? Like I'm, it's like I can feel the program trying to figure out how to come well, in, yeah, how to make sense in my. In this so body. let it throw codes, so you can identify the DNA strand. And you'll like the DNA strand. Is it on? Is it on communion? Is it on witness? Is it on surrender? Is it on urge? Is it like desire? Like eros, sex? Oh, this is sex. sex. It's sex. <laughs> it's sex. It's sex. It's sex. Creativity, life, and that's birth. where I think you gotta heal. Like, you don't have to heal your mother. You have to heal being a mother. Oh man, I can't. And even you like... don't have to have a baby. Wow. But you have rejected wanting to be a mother. It's true. Yeah. I because can. of the pain, like, do you see the shatter? Yeah, I do. I can literally, as you're talking, I feel it right here. I always feel it right here in my ovary, right here. Left? Left. Right here. And I know the exact Receiving. Spot. Receiving. Right? Isn't that? Yeah, left side is receiving. Okay, so the arc of this understanding arc, how is that weirdly connected? You said I have a carrying code. You're carrying code. To arc, the arc, arc in the software. Technology. Yeah, our arc technology. technology. They're saying it like over and over. So let them say it over and over. Okay, sorry, this is weird. Yeah. They're like, arc technology, arc technology, arc technology, art, arc, arc, arc technology has to do, you understand it because it was encoded in you at the, the death of your mother. So she will help, she's like already has it organized, it's already done, this lineup to, but to bring it through has nothing to do with even Bert. I mean, it does. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's all connected. But that's the weird how it goes sideways. Yeah. So you haven't come out of that this angle. But it's to heal you being a, like be a mother. Be a mother. Yeah. Even if you never have children. Yeah. Be a mother. Be a mother. Even if your whole life you've never wanted children. Be a Oprah is a mother. Yeah. Yeah. I see Oprah what you're is a Mother. She is. Yeah. That makes me want to cry. She's the Eve. Yeah. The Lilith. The Eve and the Lilith. Oh, yeah. She's the mother, the mother, like Mary mother. Like, ma like the mother. That's the aspect of yourself you don't want to see. Yeah, it feels and like it's, it's, And in that, I don't know why, is the arc technology which must have to do with, with ultimate creation or something. Well, there was some sort of portal. I think this might be. Let me, let me. We'll look and see. Let me um, something was, yeah, you're right. Something was created in my mom's death. A link between me and the other side. What? We need to get better language because we've been using the word fracturing energy or we've used it for too long. Fault line, all that? Fault line is thing? better. Okay. Fault line is moving in the wrong direction. But you know when you go back and look at like in the 80s when they started doing like wounded child stuff, inner yeah. child stuff. We started using the word fracturing energy. Even shaman have used it in their language of soul retrieval. Mm -hmm. It's old language. We need to put technology to it. Okay. Does that make sense? It makes total sense. So, it is old language. So... 
again, it's a really important strand in the DNA, the collective DNA. There's individual DNA, there's collective DNA. <gasps> Both the grid matrix, or the extinction matrix, and evolution matrix has its own DNA. Whoa, whoa. <gasps> you said in that other conversation that if we understood the collective consciousness algorithm, we could trigger anomaly on purpose. Oh my, the, my hair is literally growing as we speak. I feel my whole, like, yes. So that's how you work with the multi-dimensional internet. internet, is through the DNA of evolution, of the evolution grid. My mind is so blown. I, I don't know. even have freaking words. I don't either. We won't for days. I'm so glad this is being recorded, right? Yes, it's being recorded. Let me just. I will sure. never remember. I know what it is. I have a yeah, it's Okay, good. Um, we have the other oh, Even just acknowledging your mother. And I want to, I want to put love, 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 all of our other stuff. Clarity about this. Clarity. Multidimensional internet rewiring. And coming firmly rooted in evolution matrix. So, heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. That's my new tattoo, by the way. Heaven on earth. Sweet. You were just on something. You were just saying something. You said that's why it's important I understand my the mother thing or something. You brought up the mother thing again. With tech. Because you just said something about the technology of the evolution, like, oh, you said triggering feel the triggering on the grid on purpose. Yeah. Has something to do with your mothering. Oh, yeah. How weird is that? That is really weird. How good is the ego? It really is good. That algorithm. Mm -hmm. Why would we create our own algorithm? I know it has to do, just has to do with extinction program. We just lost our technology was so damaged in the fall. Like, not it wasn't damaged. Our belief about it was. Right? Like, but yes, you have to heal the mother, the mother. You have you have to be a mother yeah. of this earth. Yeah. Because mothers, when they are in their eros. In their life creative okay this makes sense when they're in their like unconditional expanded awareness place they have epic discernment because they see their children they're literally tuned into the evolutionary program because they're, they're they're tuned into the instincts to protect and sustain life yes yeah. And as mother, as women, as we bring forth children who are the great, they're gods. We are birthing gods, god potential. Mm -hmm. And they, it's, and humans are the most, have the most quantum potential for evolution, for expansion, for beauty, for art, for truth, for sex, for eros, for creativity, like the woman, the mother, is the great computer. She it's, is. It's, there's a reason it's called the motherboard. Like, yeah. like, because she knows when to say to a child, like, no, honey, you're better than that. Mm -hmm. That's, that's not where your, that's not your heart, what your heart would want. Because every boy would really some weird quote I heard, like every boy in their heart would rather steal second base than a car. Like that fundamental mm -hmm. level of, I know that seems so cliche or kitschy, especially since we're talking about the DNA programming of collective consciousness <laughs> and the evolutionary grid. Like, but real life, right? Like the, the technology of the mother yes. has been the most distorted and undervalued. Do you see what they're saying? Yes. So I mean, I'm in the evolution, <laughs> in the evolution matrix, right? Which is heaven on earth. If you leave out the mother, you cut off the legs of creation, which is what religion is literally done. Which is why women first. 
first. And empaths first, because all empaths are so feminine, male or female. Mm -hmm. They express feminine. so divine feminine, divine, feminine, divine urge, mm -hmm. divine creation, divine eros. Like they urge towards evolution in a very collective and individual way. Mm -hmm. So all women, when they see injustice or they see lack or they see need, then they urge for balance. Mm -hmm. our, our bodies do it for us. It urges for balance. Mm -hmm. And and that's like the one of the best places to heal. Even the Dalai Lama said a few years ago, like, the healing of this earth is with the women. Yeah. That's what he meant. Yeah. I can see that. And the fundamental program of things, like, You know, have you ever seen those men who they might they might be so unconscious that they choose a heinous destruction. But if you could see that like in the arms of their mothers they would just weep and want to be good. And 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 when their mom truly sees them, looks at them, like when the mother truly witnesses them, they see their own God selves and long for it, yearn for it, urge deeply for it. Yeah. And divine urge, divine urge knows and has that code, that code for true connected communal evolution of the mother. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's why we both, I had to heal it with my mother before I could get to this point. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, we're both ready to go next level. You right. gotta hurt, you gotta heal, not with your mother, you being a important, important, integrated, it's like, it, when you talk about grid holders and space holders, you know how big you are when we say this, like, you hold such intense space in this grid, you becoming mother, the bedrock shifts everything, you shifting shifts everything, yeah, that that's how sense. suddenly you are the mother to billions. Do you see? And um, no, no one on earth has better discernment than the mother. Because the only technology here that is in need of evolution is human. All other technologies here are perfectly on their path. They do not divert from the call of the mother in the evolutionary way to heaven on earth, to expansion. Right. The beasts of the field don't tell mother earth no. They like surrender to her will because they know that her will brings only life, brings only peace, brings only heaven, brings only more expansion. And there's such a deep trust for the algorithm of the mother. It's true. The, like the rhythm. You know when you're by the ocean and you, if you let yourself go enough, you'll feel the whole rhythm of the mother. And you know that that is the only life that will ever bring satisfaction. And that is the rhythm that the earth has tried to destroy. And if that it couldn't ever be destroyed, but if that were to be destroyed, it would be it would be extinct. It would bring epic this extinction. Yeah. And we are literally trying to extinct the mother. I hope you guys enjoyed this conversation. I hope that it triggered your inner knowing awake. And if you're interested in diving deeper into this technology, into understanding the arc of our story as empaths, as gens. You can get the beta test version of the gen magic class. It's in the description box below. 
you get all updates that Rachel and I pull through for the class as well. So I can't wait to see what happens on this planet as empaths get free, transmute the energy inside of them and change the world. All right, much love you guys.